Hello and welcome on e Academy. So now that we have installed our editor, text editor VS Code, we are set to continue. So what we are going to do now is go on the website and we will download some files, some templates, so we can work with it. It will be some HTML that will allow us to discover the tags, the, the images, the how, how to change text and so on. So let's do that right now. So you are now on this website and I want you to click on make a website. Oh, this one. This will bring you to this section. So once we are in this section, you see here that you can download the files. So let's just do this. I click download the files and here you see that it has download some files here in the bottom on my browser. Once it has finished, you can click and ask to show it in the folder. So when I show it in the folder, I can see here this is a zip file. That means it has to be extract. So you right click on it and you just select extract here. Once you have extracted it, it's great. You can go back to your VS Code. So you can see I can easily change my screen from VS Code to the to the browser by just holding the, the key Alt and uh, pressing the same time the Tab key. The Tab key is the one with the two arrows like this or like this. I don't know. So here Tab key and I go back on my VS Code. So on the VS Code, I make it a bit bigger for you. Here it is. So on the VS Code, you can come and click on this two files icon, the Explorer. So once I click on it, you can see that you can open a folder, this button. I click on open a folder and then you have to go on your computer to the download part or téléchargement in French. So once you're in download part, you found out the, 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 right, um, the right folder, which is coding summer school HTML beginner dash en. So you just click once on it, you don't enter it, just click once on it and you validate. And just like that, you have now all the files which is inside. So you can click on index.html. If I'm going too fast, don't forget, you can pause the video and come back. It's very useful to have this. So once I click on index.html, here it shows me the file index.html with a lot of code that for the moment for the moment we don't really understand but this is what we are going to do understand all of this code and make it our own so once i see this code for the moment is great i right click on the index.html and here you can see i can open with live server so this is what i'm going to do and this is why we installed previously the live server plugin, I click on it. What does it do? It's open my browser and it's open the file. You can see here index HTML. And now I can see what is inside and how it looks like on a browser. So this is now our website. So what we are going to do is to make this website custom to us. Like maybe I want it to be a Pokemon website or a My Hero Academia website. Like I can make it how I want. This is just a template for us to practice. So before doing that, I want to give you just some tips, just some knowledge to make it very, very easy for you to understand everything which is coming after. For that, I just make some, I made some slides for you. So it will be even more easier. Of course, we will practice always practice with me. This is when we become active and we really understand what we do. So this is the HTML. So a little thing to know. So what is really HTML? So HTML is a document with a head and a body and inside the body is some tag. What, what does it mean really? So the document is what we have seen is the index.html. This is a document. So as you can see here, 
I'm just going to make it easier again. Here you have the HTML, the tag HTML, which shows all this blue square. You see? This is all the, the blue square. This is what it represents. It's a box. And inside, you have another tag head, which means another box here inside the box. And then the body, which is this box here in red. So what does it mean really? Because it's a tag, it's a box, no problem. I, all I want you to see is that this red box is the same red red on your screen. That means what it's inside the body, inside the box body, will be appearing on your on your screen. So if we go now on the on VS Code, we will see that we will create something like this. Something that will show us the tag HTML that we have seen, the head and the body. So let's just do this now. Don't forget Alt and Tab to switch easily. I'm going back on my VS Code. And here on the VS Code, what I want you to do is first to click here, nowhere. So index is no more selected and create a new file with this icon, new file. This one we will call it test.html. I create it and we have created our first file HTML, but for the moment there is nothing inside. So with VS Code, you will see it's a very, very, very easy, easy to create some HTML. So here I just tap explain, uh, exclamation point and you see there is this blue line coming. If you see the blue line, it's great, just press enter. If you don't see the blue line, press control space for the blue line to come and then you press enter. When you do that, the control space, of course, your cursor here has to be really close to the exclamation point. So there should be any space between them. Up control space enter so here what you see is that I have my HTML tag my head tag and my body but what you can really see is that there is also another head tag here another body and another HTML why because as I told you is it's like a box that means each box surrender all the other boxes that are contained inside this box. But coming back to the slide to show you this, um, all these boxes, we call them tag. So we have seen the tag HTML, head and body. There is other tags like div, h1, p and a, and so on. Those tag always have a purpose like this div is for, is for a division, h1 for a heading, and so on and so on. So you should always see a tag with a closing, uh, an opening tag and closing tag. Here you can see like I have the tag element, which is opening tag, which is the beginning of the box, and the closing tag, you see, the end of the box, so the limitation. Inside the opening tag, sometimes we can have some attribute which has equal some value. Don't worry if you don't understand this now, it's not very important and we will see it after. It's just for you to hear it once so after we can remember, oh, okay, Sin was talking about this. And what I want you to understand is a tag is like a box with an, a beginning and in the end. And inside this box, you can put other box, as you can see here, you have inside the element box two purple box and inside each purple box you have other boxes which are tags really so if you see now our website you can see that we have the HTML box this one the blue one that contains 
those two box, those two tags. If I come back on VS Code, I have the same. My HTML box, which starts here until here, that contains the heading, the head, and the body. Remember I told you the body shows what there is on the screen. For the moment, there is nothing, which is normal. And this is what we are going to, to do and to see. Can you go back on your uh, website? The website we have just launched minutes ago, this one. And if you see in the URL, that means this place, there is written index.html. But what we are going to do is to write test.html because we have just created a document which is test.html and you can see there is nothing, right? So now what I want you to do is to go back again with Alt tab on VS Code and here inside we are going to, you are going to write inside the, the body a title. When I say inside, always make sure that you are between the opening tag and the closing tag. So inside the body, we are going to write h1 and because it's easy with VS Code, it already tell me, okay, you just can tap enter and he writes the opening tag and the closing tag for me. Inside, you see my cursor here is blinking inside, I will write hello world and I save it. How? By uh, tap, pressing Ctrl and S to save the file. If I tap something more, you can see here on the top that there is this blue dot, uh, this white, sorry, this white dot, which tells me this file is not saved yet. So save it by tapping, pressing Ctrl S and now it's saved and the dot disappear. So now that I have written this, I can go back to the browser and you will see that now I have written here, hello world. Okay. And so basically this is how it works. It's very simple like internet. You have a document with HTML heading and body and everything I tap inside the body will give me and will appear in the screen. So come back to the slides. As I said, like every there is different tag. Every tag has a role, like header for the heading, things that we, we things which are in the top of your uh, of your website, the navigation with nav, h1, h2, h3, and so on. Those are headings. There is div for divisions, p for paragraph, and a for links. There is many more, but we don't have to learn them all. We just are here to discover. If you want to learn them uh, after, there is a link in the website if you want to learn more about HTML or CSS. So here I showed you, I, I'm, I'm showing you a little more complex HTML, which is that you can recognize here the body, the, blue, the, the red box which has an opening and a closing. With, that means that it's become, it starts here and it's finished here. Inside, I have the box header, you see. And inside the header, I have the box nav, which are tag. And thanks to this, the browser will, will recreate it like this, knowing that each box is inside another box, comparing how you, you write it because here you can see navigation is contained inside the tag header, that means it's inside, but the tag section, which start here and finish here, is next to header, that's why it's after here. You see it's next, it's not inside. So this is very basic for HTML. Once you have understand this, it's enough. We will see after some properties because I told you there will be attribute as ID and class, but don't worry about that. All this we will see after. 
So if you can come back on your test, now what I advise you to do is to keep playing a bit with this, with your test file before attacking the index file. So for instance, you can see now on the, on, on the test file, after hello world, I can use the tag P. P is for paragraph. That means here I will be writing some text. Here it's Larem student text, which means it's not a real text. And with this text, you can check it always on your website and see how it interacts. So try to play with those with those tags. Try to find out other tags, like there is other tags you can use. Some tags are like, um, I will give you some examples so you have things to try. You can try the strong tag, tag. here. If I tap strong, strong, and inside I write, this is in bold. You will understand on the website that here, this will be bold, you see? So there is a link also after the, um, there is a link just below the, the download of the template. I will show you where it is. So for this link that you have here, you will see on this website, when, once you click on it, that there is other tag that you can try. You will see like all the tags that you want. You can make some research on it and, and start playing a bit before starting watching the, the, the next uh, video. When we, will when we will toggle, no, when we will try to make some modification in this website, we will change the text, the videos, the background images, and uh, all the gallery here. There is also a slideshow. We will change all those, see how to manage this, make it custom, and start already thinking about the theme that you, that you, want, to, to, that you want to do with a, a website, okay? I see you in the next video, and I'll let you try some tags to have fun right now.